LJ and I decided uh, that we wanted to start the foundation um, because we realized how blessed we are and how fortunate we have been to be able to afford the different, you know, different equipment or medication and, and also mainly we realize how blessed we are to have the support and around us uh, as far as love and just giving and you know so we realize that everyone don't have that everyone don't have the means of being able to get equipment or, or, or you know just have the love and support around them so that's why we started this foundation is because all of the love the support and all that we've been given and that has been poured out to us we we decided we want to do that for others. We chose to do that for others. We want to do that for others because that's important in helping cope and helping getting through with living with ALS. And so the foundation was started uh, because what we were giving, we want to give to others. The only thing we were afraid of when we started the foundation is everything. <laughs> where do we start? How do we do this? You know, um, where do we go for the help? I mean, but I mean, instantly that fear, I mean, it, it came and went very fast because as I said earlier, because of the, the help and the support that we have with others and through others, um, we were able to get to a point where, I mean, the love and the support and people wanting to help began really, really pouring out. And so, but in the beginning, I mean, you, you have that question, what if, you know, I mean, what if, I mean, so, but as we begin to make steps and that's, that's very important. I mean, we can stand there all day long and ask what if, but we had to actually begin making the, the steps forward to just, taking the steps and, and, and starting the foundation and just taking the steps and talking with people and asking people for help or for directions. And so that is what almost got us in the beginning, but we took enough steps, we got past it and got through it. <laughs>